Welcome back again. We are live at Joplin City Hall on this kind of rainy third Thursday. One big addition to Joplin over this past year has been the Harry M. Cornell Arts and Entertainment Complex. It's a collaborative effort between Connect to Culture and Spiva Center for the Arts. And we're joined now by Emily Frankowski. She's the executive director of Connect to Culture. This was a big deal, bringing this center here. It's something that had been in the works for more than a decade. Why was it deemed necessary by the arts community? It was just such a huge initiative, like you said, over a decade in the making. Many leaders from different sectors in Joplin came together so long ago and said, we need a destination, a home for the arts, somewhere where multiple arts organizations can benefit, where it would attract people to Joplin and also give people a reason to stay here, you know, that work, play, stay kind of lifestyle. And so they got to work, and it took a while, but they did not give up, and now we have the wonderful Cornell Complex. It is wonderful. It is beautiful. We're showing some video of that. 37,000 square foot facility. It opened in November. The concert season, the first of the concert season, began in December, runs until June. Tell me about some of the events for that uh, concert season. Yeah, so this is Connect to Cultures 23-24, or actually 22-23, I'm in the future already, <laughs> planning the next season, can you tell? Um, but we have our Curtains Up series, which is more national touring shows, and we have Ignite series, which is more kids and family programming, and then the Cornell series, which is more local and regional talent. But we have, you know, used, we used to have four to six shows, and we were art, arts nomads, um, because we didn't have our own theater. But now we have our own theater, indoor and outdoor, and we have over 19 different shows going on this season. Very eclectic mix, obviously, and it appealing to everyone. What sort of response have you gotten from the general public and the business community? I think we've just gotten a ton of excitement. This past Thursday, we had Irish folk group Danu. It was a near sellout. Um, another show, Pride and Prejudice, which was a major theatrical production from New York City, they came in, and you know, many of my friends went to Red Onion downtown for dinner beforehand. They said the place was packed with all people coming to the show. So that just helps you know, the downtown community, that business that because we have so much activity, whether it be Connect to Culture or Spiva Center for the Arts, you know, we're bringing people downtown and they're spending their dollars here. And it's just getting started, exactly. perhaps taking off from here. Mm -hmm. Emily Frankowski, thank you so much.